Hey guys, Allie's RNY Odyssey coming at you with just a really quick update. I'm not gonna take too long today. Sorry, I've got a really bad glare. The sun's behind me. Um, I just had an announcement to make that I'm really excited about. I finally hit my 100 pounds off yesterday, which was Friday. I've been waiting for it. Um, I knew that I probably wasn't going to hit it early last week because I was pumped full of all those fluids from the hospital if you watched my last video. So I knew that I wouldn't hit it till I got some of that water weight off. Um, so I was really ecstatic when I got on yesterday and saw that I had hit 100 pounds off. And that since my pre-op diet, uh, which I started on Christmas Day. So that's 100 pounds off in, you know, just about five months. My surgeon would like to see it go quicker because I've only lost about 70 since surgery, uh, which surgery we're coming up on the four-month mark here soon. So he would like to see it be moving a little bit quicker. Um, so he advised that I meet with my nutritionist, and also I've really got to get the physical activity down. Uh, that's probably the piece of the puzzle that I'm missing. But I did talk to my nutritionist about everything that went on with my kidney. She said it was all you know, snowballed from the severe dehydration, which I kind of knew. Um, so I've been really good. I've been a good girl getting in at least 64 ounces of fluids every day. Um, I can do it. It's just you have to be diligent and keep track of it. So you don't think, hmm, did I get it or didn't I? I'm making sure every day that I'm getting at least 64 ounces in. Mostly water. I'll also mix like four ounces of orange juice with a huge bottle of water. Um, and I really enjoy that and I put ice in it and it's really cold and it's just something different. So we also talked about my stomach upset with protein supplements because um, she wants me to up my protein. I was getting 70 in before I got sick and she said that's still not enough. That That's my very low base 70 is the absolute minimum I should be getting. My range is 70 to 90 and she really recommends that I get that higher range of 90. She wants me to shoot for 90 every day. So it's really hard for me to get 90 in a day from just food. I could do the 70 and that was hard. So she, we talked a lot about the issues I was having with protein supplements, that they were really upsetting my stomach. And I did try the J-Rob egg protein and that seemed to sit fine. So um, she said J-Rob's a very good brand of protein. And she said, you know what? I don't think you're having issues with whey and I don't think you're having issues with like the protein itself. She's like, I think you're having issues with the artificial sweetener in the protein supplements because J-Rob only uses stevia. So I'm thinking that might be what it is. And it kind of makes sense because I've had to eliminate crystal light and stuff like that too. I kind of had an inkling that that was also upsetting my stomach. So I'm going to stick with the J-Rob protein and start using it. It is a little pricey, but you know what? Even if it's a $5 shake, if I went through McDonald's, I spent more than that. So I'm worth it, right? So I'm going to stick with the J-Rob. I did a double scoop shake this morning with some strawberries, blended up in my Ninja, and it was great. And it gave me like 48, I think, 46 48 grams of protein to start off the day. So I'm halfway there just with my shake. Um, and then we also talked about how by doing the shake like that in the mornings, it will give me a better chance to have more balanced meals throughout the day. My body does not respond well to drastic, um, like eliminating food groups. I'm really one of those people that I just learned in the past from dieting that if I eat like a really balanced meal plan, my body seems to respond best to that. So with getting the huge amount of protein out of the way in the morning, she's like, you don't, you know, you can have two ounces of protein and then a little bit of carb and a little bit of veggies um, rather than only being able to eat four ounces of protein and then you don't have room for anything else. So I'm actually pretty excited about it. Um, so like, for my second meal of the day, I had um, hard-boiled eggs and some honeydew melon. And I really enjoyed that. Like, it felt like more of a meal to me than just if I had had, you know, the hard-boiled eggs. So I don't have to stress so much about getting 20 grams of protein in every meal to meet my, my, my 90 by wiping it out in the middle of the day, you know, at the beginning of the day. 
um, I have a little more flexibility with my meal planning. So that was one directive. Of course, getting the fluids in, which, like I said, I've been doing. Um, and then just working on the physical activity still. I need to get back to physical therapy next week. I am feeling better. Um, I still felt pretty bad yesterday. And I was really nauseous. And again, in talking to my nutritionist, I love her. She's amazing. Uh, she said, I think you're nauseous because of the kidney stone, but I also think you're nauseous because you're hypoglycemic right now because I wasn't eating. I was eating pretty much carbs, like I was snacking on sal saltines because my stomach was upset. I would have vegetable soup, um, maybe a little bit of protein at one meal, but she's like, you know, you're eating those crackers which would be fine. She's like, eat the crackers, but have some chicken with it, you know? Um, but I'm eating those crackers and it's giving me a little sugar spike and then I'm crashing back down, which made sense because I would eat the crackers and feel nauseous 15, 20 minutes later. So she's like, I want you to force feed yourself protein every three to four hours. So I made myself eat dinner last night, um, or after I met with her, I made myself eat two times yesterday and uh, in the evening, and I did feel a little bit better. And then this morning, I had the protein shake. I got up kind of late, so it was like 10.30. I had the protein shake. I've had the eggs and melon, and I'm getting ready to have dinner here soon. So I am feeling better. The nausea is not as bad. So obviously, a chick knows what she's talking about, right? <laughs> um, so I think that's about it. But I'm really excited about the 100 pounds Next week, I got to try to work on the physical activity. Hopefully, I'm feeling up to it. I still haven't passed my kidney stone. Hoping that I pass it soon. Um, I do have a follow-up with my PCP next week, and I need to get a referral for a urologist. Um, the cert, my surgeon said that I really needed to make sure I followed up on the kidney stone. And everyone's teasing me because I'm going to Disney in, uh, I guess, about four or five weeks. And apparently... If you ride roller coasters, it helps uh, you pass kidney stones. <laughs> Everyone's like, if all else fails, just ride the roller coasters. Um, <clears throat> so I think that's it. But I will check in with you guys again. And um, I'm going to share my stats at some point. I just want to get them all right, wrote down and organized uh, before I do that. Um, now that I'm 100 pounds down, um, you know, I feel more comfortable sharing where I started and where I'm at. Oh, and I do have one feel good thing that happened on Friday. So I still wasn't feeling good on Friday, like I said, and I had to go to the surgeon um, to follow up because he wanted to see me after everything that happened. And it was hot. It was hot and really humid on Friday. And I hate my arms. Like, they're big. You know, I'm a big girl, but my arms, I have to go up a size. Like, I would be a size down in shirts if it weren't for my arms. And uh, I was getting dressed, and I was trying to find something with a sleeve on it, and I was just, like, sweaty and clammy because I still didn't feel good. So I threw a tank top on, and I got one of my cardigans, you know, like a lightweight cardigan out of my closet. And my niece was sitting in the room with me, and I was like, I should just go like this and not wear a cardigan. She's like, do it. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. I'm like, I don't care what people think about my arms. I'm like, they don't know my story. They don't know my journey. They don't know what I've been through. I've been working hard. I don't care what they think. I'm going to go without a cardigan. And I went to the doctor's appointment without a cardigan with my big, fat, flabby arms hanging out. And you know what? Nobody stared at me. Nobody said anything. And even if they did... That's how I felt about it, you know. Um, I got to learn to embrace myself on this journey. And my arms are part of me. Thank God they work. Some people's arms don't work. And why be miserable? That, that's what I told myself. Why are you going to put this sweater on and be hot and miserable and you already don't feel good? Who cares? So that was a big step for me. And I'm hoping that, you know, it was just a doctor's appointment. So I knew I would be in and out, but it was still a step for me towards self-acceptance. So hopefully I can make more steps like that. Definitely in Disney, I need to get over it and wear my tank tops so I'm not dying in the heat and uh, just continue to embrace it, right?
So I guess that's it for today. I just wanted to stop in and say hi. You can see I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm just still kind of taking it easy, and then hopefully I can hit the ground running on Monday. So I will see you guys later. Please like, share, and subscribe, and um, you guys have an amazing weekend. All right, bye guys.